guys, and they say, and they say, and they say, and they no, we will not be doing and they say anymore on this video. Hey guys, it's Bro You Whack, and welcome back to another ranking video. Now this video is gonna be a little bit different because if you couldn't tell, I'm a little less ugly today. I actually took a shower. Oh yeah, and I also got a green screen behind me. If you couldn't tell, <laughs> if you don't like this format, if you don't like the style of video, we won't do it in the future. But I figure I just play around with it and have some fun. But guys, if you couldn't tell by my shirt and also the annoying voice line in the beginning of the video. And they say, thank you, Doomfist. We are gonna be ranking every single one of Doomfist's skins today. Now, we ranked a lot of different hero skins in the past. Genji's, Mercy's, Ana, and one thing that they all have in common is that I enjoy playing them, and I also don't mind playing against them. Doomfist is neither of them. I don't like this hero at all. So I figured what better way to show my infatuated hatred with this hero than to rank every single one of Doomfist's skins, which I want you to comment down below what your favorite skin is from Doomfist, because I know my comment section full of all the Doomfist mains. By the way that you guys spell and act, oh, I, I know that you also love this hero. Now this is a video ranking every single Doomfist skin, which of course includes the common skins, but I don't like to affect the regular list. So I include at the very bottom, which if it matters, it goes Daisy, Plains, Lake, and Sunset, which Sunset is just a color gradient version of like, like the Blizzard even got lazy for Doomfist's common skins, bro. But starting off the actual ranking portion of this video, which is starting off with Doomfist's worst skin at number 17, we got Caution. I despise this. I don't think you guys realize how much I hate this skin. I have no idea what Caution is supposed to be. Is he some sort of like Omnic? He looks like some bootleg Omnic that you would buy at like Walmart. It's like, oh mommy, can, can we get an Omnic action figure at the store. It's like, oh, you got an Omnic action figure at home. And this is the Omnic action figure. It looks oh terrible. And besides the unknown origin story of the skin, it just looks awful. Like the colors are all throwing me off with the with the yellow arm and the blue hair. And don't, don't even get me started on the haircut. I know my haircut ain't that good, but homie, what is this like frohawk that you got going on and the blue dye? You need to go to like Sally's beauty salon and get that fixed, bruv. Caution is so bad that ranked at the number six. 16 spot is his classic skin. The skin that everybody gets for Doomfist is way better than a legendary skin. Something that you gotta spend 1,000 credits on. Like, you don't wanna pay to look like this when you can look like this for free. And if Doomfist's classic skin wasn't his classic skin that everybody got, I'm sure it'd rank higher because his look is awesome. He's got his iconic red skirt with his white basketball shorts, and then his Doomfist has mammoth tusks coming out of the shoulders too, plus the, the face paint and the arm paint too. It's awesome. But Classic is only at 16 because now we got skins that you can only get out of loot boxes or out of skin challenges because ladies and gentlemen, at number 15, we got Doofus's but Monk skin? Here's my biggest problem with Monk. Monks are supposed to be this wise entity that uses their mind to fight evil. Does Doofus looks like he uses his brain to fight the evil doers of the world? No, he uses his freaking fist. It just plus the rest of the skin. It's very like boring and it's not very Monk-like. What makes him a Monk? The ashy ball head where he needs some lotion? Is it his white eyes making him look like Neji? <laughs> Rest in peace. Now the number 14 spot, we got a skin that it seems like Blizzard has an obsession making skins around and it's Doomfist's carbon fiber skin. It, it's not bad. It, it's just such a cliche skin. It's, it's just such a cliche design in general. Like I see it all the time in cars. Like, oh my god, how many times are you gonna see like an underside swipe be carbon fiber? How many times are you gonna see uh, a spoiler be carbon fiber? How many times are we gonna see Overwatch skins have a carbon fiber? Plus, also, why did they make his titties have carbon fiber plating? None of the other skins give him some sort of plating on there. Why do they decide now will be the best time? I mean, it looks all right. The colors look awesome because, well, even though I just hate it on carbon fiber, hey, you can never go wrong with a black color scheme. Uh, here, we got black and red and brown and shorts. So, I mean, like, it doesn't look bad, but it's also nothing special. Plus, it's just very out of place. <laughs> but now we're getting into the good stuff. At number 13, we have probably a very popular skin when you first start to play Doomfist. We have Painted. For a lot of the skins I showcase, I try to find the origin story, just try to find the reference that this skin is inspired from. And since Doofus is Nigerian, I tried to connect the two with like his face paint and Nigerian culture. I couldn't really find anything, but I want to assume that it does come from like African face painting. You guys can let me know in the comments. But I mean, either way, the skin looks dope because it's a different take on his traditional face paint, which you just see on his nose. Here, it's all over his face and even all over his arms and skin. And like I mentioned before, paint Doofus is probably a very popular skin for a lot of people that first start to play Doofus because, well, it only costs 250 credits and it actually looks good. Compared to his legendary skins, it's... 
But now at number 12, we got a skin that I personally used when I first started playing Doomfist, Leopard Doomfist. Now I know for a fact that this is definitely inspired from African culture because, well, leopards and just that whole wildlife scenery is very iconic to Africa. Doomfist decided to deck himself out with the highest quality leopard print that was probably illegally acquired because, well, Doomfist literally runs a terrorist organization. Like, does nobody ever talk about how Talon legally is just full of a bunch of terrorists and war criminals? Well, he's also looking stylish as well. So we can't hate on too much. The leopard skirt, the leopard shoulders, even the leopard armband with new face paint. So at number 11, we got a skin that over time, it's kind of grown on me, but it still is garbage. Spirit Doofus is not a skin that I particularly am fond of. <laughs> this is obviously inspired from like Tiki poles where there's like different faces seen throughout the whole entire pole. And we see that with his mask and even his arm and fist where you see a Tiki face right there, a Tiki face at the base of the fist. And then you see the punch doom fist of death that causes a lot of pain for me and my biggest problem with this is that it doesn't it's not bad okay it's not a bad looking skin it's just very creepy <laughs> i guess because of the mask like you look at it and you just get nightmares looking at it and to nobody's surprise at number 10 we got the second tiki inspired skin avatar now what makes this one a whole lot better than spirit is literally the colors <laughs> just having this red and green like color scheme i don't know it's a little bit more appealing to the eye it's still a creepy looking skin do not get that wrong. Looking at Avatar just makes me think that Doomfist made this costume the night before he had an audition to be the main villain of Crash Bandicoot. Like, he just looks so out of place and doesn't look like he could be in Crash Bandicoot, but it also doesn't look like he belongs in Overwatch either. Like, he's just a lost boy. But now, ladies and gentlemen, at number nine, we also got the other second base legendary skin. Nah. I ran, here's why it ranks so much higher than Caution. There's literally only one reason. A lot of people in the Overwatch community and Tekken community have made the assumption that this was Blizzard's love letter to the character Jack Five in the fighting game Tekken. And when you compare the two characters, they look very similar. They're both rocking the same green skin. They both have Frohawks, both being blonde. And while Doomfist has a chrome skin flesh and while Jack Five is just rocking normal flesh, they're also both fighting characters that both uses their fists. Plus Doomfist has other references to his in-game sprays where most nobly he has a combo spray with a fist punch which is just references to other combos they can do in fighting games most nobly in Tekken and that is literally the only reason why he's at number nine because if it wasn't for that reference he'd be at the very bottom with caution <laughs> now at number eight we got a relatively recently released skin with gladiator why? <laughs> Doofus is not a gladiator. The, the, the thing about gladiators, and I could be wrong, like maybe I did a past history class, but uh, uh, gladiators use swords in a lot of their fighting schemes. Not really big, giant mechanical fists. The only redeeming factor about this skin is his actual gauntlet, where there is a lion at the base of it. They don't do a lot with Doofus's gauntlet because, well, what can you really do to it other than just have faces or animals at the base of it? And here, they decide to give him a lion which okay the rest of the skin is also questionable like why does he have four eyeballs on his mask and why does he have a pizza cutter on top of his head like this is just a very random skin that I don't think a lot of people would think of when they think of doofus skin ideas but a skin idea that you would think of for the fist fighting character doofus is a karate skin and that's what they decided to give him for the summer games event it's still kind of a boring skin. I don't know what else I expected for a karate skin for Doofus. I feel like I'm just hating on a lot of Doofus skins, and I am. But, I mean, can you look at karate and say, yes, yes, that is the best skin for Doofus. No, it's probably the best concept for Doofus. I mean, they gave him a white karate robe, a black belt, because, I mean, even if he didn't pass his karate class, would you really deny this man of a black belt? And they also gave him his Nigerian, like, like tag that you would see at the Olympics, which is a nice little detail to pay homage to where he's from. And that, that, that's it. That, that, that's a karate skin. But pretty boring if you ask me. Let's move on to number six. Being the CEO or at least just an integral part of Talon, of course you gotta give the boy Doomfist a Talon uniform. And that's what they did. They not only decked him out in the Talon gear, but they also gave him Talon specific face paint. And that's what I love most about the skin is that they didn't just slap a Talon logo on his chest and call it a day. No, they actually tailor made it to Doomfist to make him look like Talon, but make him look like a distinct like boss of Talon. Now cracking into the top five, we got a skin that sometimes I forget even exists, but every single time I met with Yutton, I'm like, hey, you know what? That's 
That's a good Doomfist skin. He's obviously supposed to be some ice viking where you can see it with his helmet and, and the mammoth tusk, but then you see the piercing frost eyes peeking out from the helmet that matches the rest of the color scheme of the skin with the frost blue in his gauntlet and even the tusks that are now just icicles. Oh, it's so clean. And then they took a page right out of Widowmaker's book, gave his flesh a little blue tone, gave him new tattoos, and also gave him new armor that will not protect him from the cold. So what's the point of wearing all that? Why don't you just kind of like, like, like unbutton it and just show us where you, just show us where you're working with Doomfist. I'm so at number four, we got a skin that all the WoW fans are in love with, but I never played WoW, so that's why I rank Black Hand only at number four. Even if you're not a WoW fan, you can still appreciate the design in this, in this big, beefy skin. Like, this is his biggest skin that, even in, like, the preview highlight intro, his shoulder covers up his face. One thing that I do know that I kind of find a little bit weird is that Black Hand, well, yes, his name is Black Hand, and it's fitting for Doomfist, he also uses a hammer, which you think that would be a little bit more appropriate for Reinhardt, but hey, 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 this black hand new skin, it's fire. Literally, because he's on fire. You see, you see how, how, I'm sorry. I think my favorite part has to be his neck, where it's almost like a chimney or a furnace just cooking inside a Doomfist. Like his whole entire body's just burning wood or burning fossil fuels and, and burning the own zone layer because once again, he's a terrorist. He doesn't really care about the environment. And then Doomfist's skin itself is ashy white as if he's in God of War. And then his eyes are on fire. Like I just love whenever they do some sort of glowing eye design for heroes. And Doomfist, it's no exception. But Blackhand, oh, he's dope. He's a dope character. If I love World of Warcraft more, I'm sure he'd be higher. Cracking into the top three best Doomfist skins, we got his most unique skin of all time, Swamp Monster. One of my favorite skins in Overwatch, not because of the skin itself, but because of the in-game skin effect, because he is a swamp monster, and swamps obviously have water. Anytime he's walking, you hear little pitter-patters as if he's walking on water. Now, if only we can get a new ultimate voice line where every single time he uses ultimate, he's like, GET OUT ME SWAMP! But ultimately, it's just little details that make up the skin. Obviously, the pitter-patter of the water that I love, but also the seaweed that makes up his skirt. Even his wrist having that cliche, uh, like, bracelets that you would always get at the beach stores. But also, the little water effect that you see in Doomfist's shoulders is so just insane as well. I just, I just love this skin. But it only ranks number three because we gotta please all the super fanboys out there because at number two, we have one of the most overrated skins of all time, Thunder. Under Doomfist. I feel like I'm the only person in this whole entire universe that does not get a huge hard on for this skin. It's a good skin. I like it. Is it the best skin of all time? No. I'm purely putting it on the number two spot because of everything that's going on with it. Obviously, it's a well crafted skin and it's just completely transforming Doomfist into this entity that I don't even know. Like, is he a rock? Is he a monster? Is he my sworn enemy? He's probably all three, honestly. But he's also at the number two spot because of what it references. References. Obviously, this is supposed to commemorate San Francisco Shock's first championship win. And this is definitely a skin that commemorates it because, once again, it's the tension of details. It's the San Francisco Shock wavelength on his forehead, or the San Francisco Shock logo on his bell loop, or every single time he slams onto the ground, causing me misfortune and pain. You see the SF logo in the ground as well. But the reason why I'm not the biggest fan of this skin is, once again, this just looks like a skin that causes nightmares. But also, too, he, he's, he's so ugly, bro. I've been saying this for years. This is an ugly skin, but not ugly in a sense where it looks bad. He just looks busted. He looks like Baraka from Mortal Kombat. Why does he not have any teeth? Well, you want to know what is an ugly skin and somebody that you would take home to mother the number one Doomfist skin, which is literally the man that's on my shirt. Formal Doomfist is one of the flyest looking boys of all time if only doofus wasn't a terrible person and an overall op broken hero i would love this man all because they dripped him out and won the flyest skins of all time like, i know i said that for the other skins of all time but formal like he is literally dapper he is literally swaggy and i never use that word unironically except in this case because there's no other way to describe him first of all you got the floyd money mayweather glasses he wears it inside of the casino because he knows he's that guy. He knows he's able to rock in. No one's going to tell him, hey, you you know you're inside. You're not supposed to... Stop. 
I'm doomfist, boy. But then moving on to the white blazer, he didn't spend $100. He didn't even spend $10,000. He spent 100,000 racks of taxpayers' money to be able to afford that white blazer and black pant combo with the red rose that he got exclusively at this garden of only people that have $100 million in assets. Plus, he's got the unreleased Gucci shoes with the gold-plated toe tip. Like, I don't even know if that's fashion. I don't even know if that's even legal. But it doesn't matter with Doofus because, again, he's... He's a war criminal. Do, do you really think he cares if he's doing anything legal or not? No. He probably got that suit also from the African safari. But then, of course, the, the gauntlet, man. The, the, the doom fist himself. Thanos 7.0 coming in hot with the serpent snake on the shoulder and then the rest of it. Like, I, I don't even... Like, it's just a normal looking doom fist gauntlet, but my God, it still looks cool. He looks so clean in this skin. First seeing this in the Masquerade comic where he was looking good with Widowmaker, we just had to have this skin. And of course, Blizzard delivered and gave us one of the best Doomfist skins of all time, but quite possibly one of the best skins of all time. Like, it, it's literally on my shirt. I bought this shirt, even though I hate Doomfist, because it's like the Scarface design and he's looking good. Like, it's, he's so cool, man. But anyway, guys, that is my ranking of every single Doomfist skin. Once again, comment down below what your favorite doofus skin is is it formal is it thunder or is it caution like like, like why why would it be caution don't 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 let it be caution if you say caution i will be thoroughly upset with you and i will tell you to leave but i love you guys thank you guys for watching more overwatch videos to come and bye